Bushers gone. We have some Fasno Busher. There's some Greg Biffle trophies over there. Here's my, one of my favorites. Not as good as this. Newman. I know we may not be driving for them no more. But man, does that car look good. Got an old bootlegger machine. That's pretty cool looking. Now, we have a lot of things to look at. The Dobald car. Beautiful looking scheme. It's just really a masterpiece. Let's look at the inside. Just imagine. 127 degrees in that thing. Then you have a lot of Mark pictures. And then Hall of Fame. He competed from 81 to 2015 with 40 wins. And 56 poles, 882 starts. What a season. What a career. But then, this car, you gotta have it. 2012 Daytona 500 winning Ford. I love this paint scheme. Again, another Kenseth car next to the DeWalt machine. Best Buy was not, did not have that long of a venture in NASCAR, but man, did I like the three Best Buy logos on the back. They were so unique, and then what Roush is mostly known for, their engines. Such good performing engines. I think that Brad Keselowski will win two races this year and Chris will get his second win. But this, they win a lot every year in everything. Man. But uh, there's a theater, I'm not sure if anything's gonna be in here. It's closed for private function. Not sure what that means, but you get a little bit of a view. Got some nice looking rims. Ooh, a Ryan Newman suit. Wait, no, is that Ryan Newman? No, that's a Mac Kenneth winning rewards car. Wow, that's kind of cool. He was a champion. Woo. Here we go. Exide Batteries car, my favorite Roush driver other than Mark Martin ever. This number 99, Jeff Burton. 97, I think. They have all the drivers. Uh, very young Carl Edwards. I think that's John Wood. Can't tell. Kurt, Mark, Jack, Kenseth, Burton, Greg. I don't know who that guy is. All right. Jeff Burton should be a Hall of Famer soon because uh, he's uh, one of the nominees heading into this next year. Man, they have a KFC suit, <laughs> Nashville hot, wow, it's pretty cool, dang, that's a really good looking uh, suit, what's in here, they got a lot of Ryan Newman things going on, oh it's like a road course practice with Ryan Newman. Now here's a good looking centerpiece. One of the biggest busts in Roush Fenway history took one of the wildest rides in his first start. Uh, I forget his name, I think it's Todd Cleaver. Uh, took a barrel roll in his first ever ARCA start. What a wreck. And here's the view of actually what happened. This is what this car actually went through. They're gonna show it in a second, the replay. Man, this wreck was one of the scariest of the season. Well, might even be the worst of the season. He just tumbled on his roof and wow, what a barrel roll. He was okay, which is crazy. I mean, just look how it tore straight through all that sheet metal. This is straight from the racetrack. They put it here. It was Todd Cleaver. I did get it right. What a wreck. But then, I actually have this die cast at home. Mark Martin, Win Dixie, Ford. My favorite Mark Martin Bush series cars were all made by Win Dixie. The beef people, Win Dixie. Hey, because of Win Dixie is an amazing book. But wow, 
And we got some trophies over here. Championship, Xfinity, NASCAR, Crescent Truck Series champion for NASCAR 2000, AC Delco 500, Curtis Turner Memorial Award. Uh, where do I even start? They got the championship trophy, the Daytona 500 trophy, and Carl Edwards' car, and for some reason a plain wing, and the Mark Martin suit. I didn't even see that. And it's signed by Mark, yeah, by Mark Martin. Ah, uh, you can see my reflection, I think. There's a seat, plain wing. Oh, it's the tail of the plane, not a plain wing. Wow, oh, this is uh, Jack Roush's terrible plane crash from 2003. It might have been 02, I can't remember. It was either 02 or 03. And he, uh, his plane fell down in the river and he broke his neck, I think. Broke a lot of things. Then, another Mark Martin, a Scott's truck. A good looking Scott's truck. Ford, I mean, they've always driven Ford. But, wow. Look at this, air systems. I think that's how the radio and electricity work. But uh, in the bed of the truck it says Scots. You can't really see it. There we go. In the back of the truck, of course, it also says Scots. And they have some pictures of like Trevor Bain and Carl Edwards. Wow. Then, ooh, they even have the pit stall stand. This is pretty cool. That's where they would have all the computers up there. But, and the, here's uh, Brad's area. He's got some good paint schemes. I really like all of them. The cooler generators and the Violet Defense car. Such good looking race cars. They have a Boston Red Sox signed banner for some reason. Ooh. It looked good. It looked real good. They have a Castrol suit. I think that was Ryan Newman's a race where he drove the only like non something car. I don't remember. Ricky versus Trevor in an all out grunge match in baseball. Ooh, they even have uh, 25 years signed by all their good drivers. They got the Biff, the Martin. I think that's Cleaver. They have a lot of good drivers, man. Nationwide Series at Iowa. Wow. Then, <laughs> Ricky Stenhouse double nationwide title. An old picture of Jack. Jack and Martin in the first win together. Miles the Monster with the sign break that whole car. Whoa. Man. Biffle leads Roush Fenway Parade at Dover. Makes sense. Best driver at Roush for a while. Then we have a lot of trophies. The Winston Noble 1998 winner. That's a good looking car. A uh, trophy. Then, oh, I've never seen this trophy before, but I like it a lot. Whoa. Oh, has some stains on it. And who cares? They won the Daytona 500. Probably oil stains. Or from Matt's showcase. David Reagan, his one, no, he had two wins in his cup career. And the Confederate, Kurt Busch, Nextel Cup. Wow. And the Nashville guitar, the Kyle Busch broke for no reason. And you, Atlanta, Route 500. And here's some gift shops. Anyway, they got a lot of the merch. For uh, Brad stuff. Kislowski number six. Gotta be. He's the man you gotta beat. Who? They even have the Violet Defense car. Good looking race car. I'm waiting for that casual car to roll out sometime soon. But man. I think they even have a simulator, but I don't think it's working right now. But 
Here's all the pictures of everything Bush Series Championship from 02. Chris Busher car. It looks easy. I bet I could drive that. I'm just kidding. Busher. Newman's car. Another Busher car, the Castro machine. They have Texas winning car. They have, oh yeah, Wally Dollenbeck's Keystone number 12, 16. My favorite uh, Keystone. No, it might even be my favorite paint scheme. That's not Mark Martin in the 90s. Never was a big fan of that paint scheme, but that thing took him to a pretty good win. Don't know what that is, but lock tight. All right, maybe I'll follow you someday. All right, uh, we still have the back of the trophy case to look at. <laughs> Gear wrench, I think. Take a look inside. I'll look later. They do have the driving skills area. I would do that, but you know, I gotta save my driving skills for when I hit the track. They have their all their paint schemes for this year. Brad's our that Castro scheme looks actually pretty good. We got the 17. The other, uh, that's my favorite. Well, it's hard to beat that. All right, we got a little bit more trophies to look at. Uh, so let's start off here, New Hampshire in '97. Sorry that that light's reflecting. Ooh, they got the Aaron's 312. Texas Dickens 500. <laughs> um, the Tech, the Coca-Cola 300. Carl Edwards breaks his gate, his way to gateway, breaks his way to gateway and victory lane. Wow. Then we got the all-star race win. Ooh, that's a good looking scheme. That is a really good looking truck. All made of glass. Boom. But today, Florida. Wow. Man. That's some good race. Now let's just look at the beautiful men themselves. Such good men, ready to drive. They got Roush, BK, and Pusher. Pit stops. And, uh, yeah, I'm just wondering what is this going on in the theater thing. Don't know what's going on in there, but whatever's going on in there, we can figure out. But, uh, yeah, best buy. DeWalt. Man, what a museum. This team deserved a museum. And they got one. A really good one, too. Very, very surprised on how they even have their championship banners and everything. But yeah, we're gonna end it off with a Mackenzie DeWalt car. Beautiful scheme. Look at the grill. Wait, I'm gonna look at the grills on these cars before we go. Some good looking cars were made here. Wow. I'm very surprised. The, this John Emerson makes up for the engine museum being closed. Wow, it was all electronic, the dash was. Dang. Well, I will see you guys in the next one, which is tomorrow. Yeah, sorry that the uh, NASCAR Hall of Fame one was not as long. Uh, I forgot to keep on recording. I just realized that this is velvet color. I actually kind of like that. All right, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.